saying a whole bunch, saying all that shit you know, for 40 minutes or whatever. You know, and, and, and as far as you, 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 you comfortable Israelites uh, having a problem, okay, with, the, with Esau being your enemy, look, I had a lot of eat of my friends, man, all right? And once I learned this truth, I learned that they were my enemy, I learned that they were Satan, all right? And it made sense, because I always knew something was off about Esau, all right? I didn't know what it was, but I, in my spirit, I knew something wasn't right. All right, in my spirit, I knew something wasn't right. And when I came to the truth, man, that, that was it. Everything was explained, crystal and clear. You know? That's something that what the church don't do, okay? Yeah, they teach you that you got enemies. Things. They don't explain to you in depth, okay? They don't put, 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 point their finger at the scripture, okay? They don't, they don't do that, okay? It's like, like watching Dora the Explorer and shit, you know? Yeah, like them kitty shows. Spongebob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is, uh, first, I said first. Isaiah 29, verse 10. Not yet. Nine. Stay yourselves in wonder, cry you out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the wine that they're uh, on is a false, uh, false breakdowns of what the scriptures really, really mean, okay? Well, most of the stuff that the churches say can be easily debunked, okay? Just just by reading act, the actual scriptures. Yeah, you know? scripture. uh, huh? yeah. Like I can found it. Uh, this Jehovah Witness at my job, but by, by, uh, with, with, uh, with a scripture where, where it says in the New Testament about um, the word witch being uh, pharmakia. He tried to get all righteous or whatever and say uh, he, he didn't want to uh, eat some uh, so-called Christmas cookies or whatever. It was like the, the job put some. Uh, Stuff for the, uh, the for, uh, Nimrod's day or whatever out for, for us to eat whatever you know. And he said you know I, I can't I can't eat that because that, that that's that that's for uh, for Christmas and you can't celebrate Christmas because of Jeremiah tenth chapter. So he, he's feeling kind of good about himself. But <laughs> well, I said well you know you're a witch right because I work in the uh, mental health uh, industry or whatever and the patients there have to take medication and that, that's that's drugs. I said you know you're a witch right. Because you uh you administer uh drugs, okay? And the only thing he can say is I, I I'm choosing not to answer answer your uh question. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna reserve my statement. Because he was cut. Because Jehovah witness witnesses, when you really break break it down, they're full of shit. They're pretty much no no different than um the, the other Christians, the other so-called pseudo-Christians in on the other churches in the Baptist and Methodist, you know, Pentecost Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventist. Okay, they're pretty much all the same. They just teach different uh, wicked philosophies at, at certain points. Okay. Well, it says, "For the Lord have poured upon them the spirit of deep sleep." Okay, and that's what all these churches are in, because they ain't they ain't calling they ain't calling Israel to repentance. They ain't not even calling they ain't not even calling the white man to repentance. They just give you a, 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 a they just wasting your time. They 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 telling you really nothing. Okay, they is telling you that the, uh, Jesus, which is not his name, okay, it's, it's, it's Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, cleansed everybody's sin, okay? That's, that's basically all, 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 they're, all they're saying. They're not telling you, yeah, yeah they're, they're not telling you how to, how to be, be reformed, okay? H how to actually turn, to keep, to keep the commandments. Because if they, if they did actually teach you how to repent, they would go back to the law, okay? Not just the Ten Commandments, okay? Yeah, they teach you also that basically you say this one little prayer and you're automatically saved. You, you supposedly accept the Lord and, and by the Lord, this is what they got in their head, all right? This is what they got in their head But when they say, Lord, you accept this piece of shit into your heart, which they, they think is literally your heart where you... You know, which is an organ that pumps your blood. You might touch it and everything. You say, it. you know, you know, yeah, they hold, they hold it in my heart. You know, they point to it. That you say this little prayer and you'll be saved, which is complete damnation, because none of us are saved until, until the judgment come. Oh, yeah. All right. The Lord says, then, then shall it be known who my elect is. Oh yeah. Like, like we're still in training right now. We're still in the academy, and we, when we graduate, that's when we deliver. All right. You know that, that nigga a couple months ago, y'all just came out the academy, right? 
Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we still, yeah, we, we still in the academy. We still in training. We, when we graduate, we, when, when we're delivered, these in same, the church of Israel. Yeah, and if I may say this, these same dickheads that go to these churches believe that bullshit are the same people dropping dead from diseases, walking in the middle of the street, getting hit by these uh, uh, damn cars. As a matter of fact, this this brother over here on the sign. Uh, uh, told me a story on the news where basically this guy was listening to so-called Christian music walking on a, 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 a set of motherfucking train tracks and got hit by the damn train. Now, I bet you in his mind he thought he was saved. You know, he wasn't saved from no damn train accident. His ass is dead. Yeah. I'm sure at their funeral they was saying all types of fucking lies. Oh, you go to a black funeral, well, you go to a <laughs> Judite funeral especially, they lie, they, they lie their ass off, man. They, they, they just fucking lie yeah, to you. They lie their ass off. Who the hell don't exist every time you take die? Yeah, he he's, he's, right. he's, he's, he's righteous. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's always on. right. He, uh, he, like, when my uncle, uh, my great uncle died, the fucking pastor, whoever the fuck is uh, in charge of uh, uh, leading the ceremony, come on, some my uncle called a week before he died, come on, some he's, he thought about coming back to the church. <laughs> oh, my great uncle ain't think, wasn't even thinking about the church for over 20 years, but yet, just because he's dead now, yeah, and they huh. paying him thousands of dollars for the funeral, but he thought about calling the church. Yeah, right. Yeah, my uncle, probably look at his hell, man. Huh? Well, wait but a yeah. minute, for the wages of sin is death. Yeah, come on, yeah. So, I, I mean, and, and you know, another thing that they teach, since we're on the churches, another thing that they teach, since they can't get around, around that, that not everybody saved, well, they say, well, oh, we're safe from sin. But if you're committing wicked acts, that the Lord is gonna kill you. Yeah, well, if you if you the Lord is gonna kill you. Exactly. If you were saved from sin, that I means you're gonna be saved in the last days. And if that was if that was true. Right. And if you're saved from sin, then technically you're keeping the law. But Cut. but they don't believe in that. So they're full of shit. Cut. That's why the Lord said that he was he, he was gonna justify. Justify us, meaning to make us righteous. Go back going back to it, the medium is the law. You're righteous when you keep the law. Right. Another story that I heard. You're not right, Slack. You're not right just because you think you're a good person. Right. Wait, a minute. the Lord said, the, the, "There is no good man. The good man has perished out of the earth." Huh, yeah. What was said about that? What scripture says that the, the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of heaven? Gosh. Nor effeminate. Yeah, we, we can get Gosh. that too. Yeah. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. Uh, yeah, our righteousness is as filthy rags. All okay? of us fall short of the glory of how much yeah, Yahweh shot. Because we're in these bodies. Okay? That's right. And we, we can't uh, we can't be perfect. We can't be like Yahweh shot. But we're supposed to uh, 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 try to obtain uh, Yahweh shot's right. mastery. Okay? Exactly. The scripture says in uh, I forget what verse, but in Matthew 10 chapter it says, uh, it is enough for the servant to be as his master. Okay? What does that mean? Yahweh Shah is perfect. That's right. Okay? It is enough for his, his for the mm. servant to be as his master. Alright? I want you to get that too. So so we strive for yep. we strive for perfection. Okay. You say something? No, but another story I had heard. Um now I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but there's, there's a story that that this guy was building a church. And he spent like five years or so building this church. And when it was all finally done and finished. He supposedly stepped back to look at the church and got hit by a car and died. Uh, <laughs> but I, so someone told me that before. They, they said, I don't know if it's true or like that, but it probably is. I mean, then, then just a couple years ago, you had that so-called touchdown Jesus that got struck by lightning. I don't know if you're, he, he's like making a freaking like sign like this, gets struck by lightning and caught on fire. So mm. the Lord is, is always bringing down these idols. Yep. Or hey, casting down these preachers. Yep. Definitely Passion. is. Well, this, this is the time of judgment, right? Yes, round, round them up for judgment. Yeah. <laughs> for the Lord have poured out upon the... God damn. scripture. First, I keep saying that. Isaiah 29 and 10. <laughs> for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets... And to close your eyes, man, you can't break down the scriptures, okay? So when when you, when you say when the scripture says that uh, all uh, preach uh, the gospel to all nations, the Lord close your eyes if you if you believe that means that everybody on earth can be saved, okay? But the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. Yeah, the, 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 the seers are all these uh, the false prophets in Israel and the so-called pastors and preachers that are in the churches. The Lord, the, the Lord didn't give give them the Holy Spirit, okay? Because if they gave them the Holy Spirit. They'll be establishing law through faith. 
But in the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Yeah, I mean, I mean you, you can't break the scriptures down, okay? You have go go you go to a a, 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 a a pastor. They'll tell you, uh, oh, we'll figure that out when the kingdom when the kingdom come. The Lord going to reveal that when the kingdom come. Oh, it's sealed. That or oh, that hasn't been revealed yet. Okay, so, uh, something simple. Of course, there are things in the scriptures that haven't been, been revealed, like the uh, seven thunders are uttering their voice. Okay. Good. But the pastors and the preachers that are in the churches, they don't know the scriptures, okay? Any camp on the GMS anyway, even the wicked Israelites will, 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 will shred these pastors in the churches up with the scriptures, okay? Even wicked Israelites. What? Which men deliver to one that is learned saying, read this. Yeah, I mean, they, they want to, uh, maybe a Bible college or a Bible school or whatever, or they, or they, or they aren't so taught in the scriptures. The you know, ultimate delusion. You know, you go to one of them, you ask them to break this down, you know? Which, uh, it's like, it, just to throw this in there, I was watching a documentary on this 32 degree Mason, and he said that basically, I forget the percentage, I think it was like 80 to 90% of all pastors and preachers are masons are involved in masonry yeah. so the same person that's teaching you these yeah. so yeah. teaching yeah. you the so-called truth have actually denied the lord yeah they did they, they they, the because college. they have to yeah they went to college they became part of fraternities and they got inducted in college yeah. so these people breaking down what what, what, what so-called breaking down the scriptures had already denounced the lord denounced god okay and they're so damn wicked, them same guys, they they're actually uh, uh, preach the, the false gospel, okay? Because they're not reading the words of Yahweh Shai, okay? And they're amazing at the same time. Some of them even, even tell you, yeah. you know? Like, uh, what was the old, that oldest mason? Uh, Morgan. Yeah, wasn't he not a, a minister? Yeah, he was a, he was, he was, uh, in a, ca he was a Catholic Catholic minister. Yep. yep. Now this, he was a mason. Yeah, exactly. Well, known he was a mason. Con. So, yep. the, in the same cracker, the oldest living ma mason. This, this Edomite, the 32 uh, level mason, basically, he said that before he could reach a certain level of masonry, he actually had to become an ordained minister. Mm. So they swapped. He went to this, uh, this, this bishop or priest in the Roman Catholic Church, and the bishop taught this 32 level mason what he knew in return he taught him what he knew as a swap and he didn't even go to no college he basically wrote him off as an ordained minister and taught him taught him what he knew so these churches are completely fucking wicked man yeah, they're, they're and totally full of shit they're totally integrated into in satanism how the hell are you gonna preach the gospel or what yeah. you believe to be the gospel but prior to that you just denounce the most high yeah, they, they, complete exactly. hypocrites man that's hard that's a, a lot of love you know? i mean that that's, that's you a lot of love that's man. you got a lot of demons on you to do something like that yeah. and the believers is it's right that, that's that's even more twisted you know the believe is right the belief that you can uh worship satan and the most high you know what when the lord already told you you can't serve two masters huh, right and then uh they also tied in with the 501 c3 charter okay this is uh texas if you mean they can't tell the truth and they get all the money you know and basically that when you go into the word incorporated it means uh the body so their body is is the government yeah, and now you're right. shot man mm. okay so it says, read this, I pray thee. Like you go to your pastor and ask him a question about the scriptures. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. Mm. And that's the main thing they say about Revelation, is, is the book is sealed. You know? yeah. They working every day week. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. But they ain't gonna tell you that, you know? Wherefore the Lord saith, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Yeah, that's how proud uh, these pastors and uh, so-called preachers are, 